This was a Rocky movie happening in front of my very eyes. And my first question to you, Tyson, how did you get up? Boxing, much like other professional sports, is a game of extreme highs and intense lows. This is boxing at its best. Where fighters push themselves to the very brink. Where results hang on a knife edge. And where every step is scrutinized. You never give me a fair shake. HBO need to fire you. You don't know shit about boxing. And whilst every young star has a target or milestone he or she pursues, there is no preparation or guidebook on how to control your emotions once achieving your wildest dreams. Something which, on that night in Dusseldorf, became a fighting man's reality. A three-year timeline which saw the downfall of a heavyweight icon. There you go. It's not like a fighter's body. I wake up and I think, why did I wake up this morning? This is coming from a man who had everything. Money, fame, glory, titles. Stripped bare. Battling an opponent tougher than any inside the ropes sinking towards what seemed inevitable ruin. I didn't care about boxing, I didn't care about living, I just wanted to die. And I was gonna have a good time doing it while I was doing it. Though a timeline which, through faith and credence, represents one man's hope. I, I think this is my calling card fight. And a nation's endearment. From villain to hero, from dark to the light, from outcast to king. Bigger and better things from now on. It's meant to see a new heavyweight champion. Let's take the end! I'll fight now! In our journey back to the top is called Road to Redemption. The greatest boxing comeback of all time. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. We go to the scorecards. All three scores. To the winner by unanimous decision from the United Kingdom. The cheers went up. Too many times in boxing, sketchy decisions and uncertain results leave the sport in the balance. But this time in Germany, a young Brit had pulled off the unthinkable. Worked so hard for this. You know, it's been six months and. I put everything in the gym for this, and I just can't believe it, and I've got it. Previously considered an unstoppable force, Fury totally nullified Klitschko's offense. Using size, lateral movement, and unpredictable style, he fainted and jabbed his way to a landslide victory. It's not giving him uh, any chance with that reach advantage as he's going in. And backed up every claim he had made in the buildup amidst all the critics. And I know that 99.9% .9 of you all expect me to lose to the great Vladimir Steelhammer. In what should be considered one of the biggest heavyweight upsets of all time. The whole world are going to celebrate with me because Tyson Fury will have become the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. The performance never got the recognition it deserved, blaming age or deterioration on the Ukrainians' fall from grace. Over the next 12 months, Fury hit the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Media outbursts, thoughtless behavior, and a suspended license. Reaching his own Mount Everest wasn't quite everything he had imagined. How good has it been being world well heavyweight it champion, hasn't the changed, number one? Not changed a bit. Not changed as much as that finger. Nothing's changed. I live in the same house, drive the same car, got the same watch. Sinking into a downward spiral of drink and drug fueled depression. Amidst a life of unmitigated excess, he ballooned to almost 400 pounds. He was in a bad way, and he was in a worse way than we thought he was, because we didn't know what was going, what was going on. Fury looked like a beaten man. Though dragged back from the edge by his wife and children, it was only at his very lowest that something clicked into place. Think about your family and your little boys and girls growing up with no father. And I thought, that day, I'll never, ever, ever try or think about taking my own life ever again. In an epiphany moment, on the brink of meltdown, Tyson Fury faced a now-or-never life-or-death decision. The 
tortuous route to redemption was on, and at first, taken with a pinch of salt, gaining little attention. It was a mammoth task. It was Mission Impossible, to be honest with you at first. Everybody thought he was finished. Though inspired by Billy Joe Saunders' similar shutout performance on away soil, Fury had the momentum he needed. Parting ways with his uncle, Peter Fury, an instant rapport with young trainer Ben Davidson set the comeback alight. Free to fight again after the backdated two-year ban, 2018 was marked as the year Fury would return. I promise to you and to BT Sports and to the world of boxing is I will reign supreme once again. The homecoming echoed the champion's former vibrance, the first fight coming in June against Sefer Safiri in Manchester. Beaming smile and dancing throughout, Tyson Fury's performance was more of an I'm back statement than a masterclass. Though, despite his weight coming off, he didn't yet look the same man that shocked the world. Fast hands, it was some good footwork, he switched around the target every now and again, but not enough to convince you that he's going to be undisputed champion of the world again. After the victory, Fury proclaimed he would have a world title by the end of the well, year. Frank's going to keep me busy and I'm going to have a world title by the end of the year, that's the promise. At the time, nobody realized quite how serious he was. Warren set the sights next on the Carl Frampton undercard in August for another high-energy outing. This time, matched up against Italian Francesco Pianetta, Fury was reacquainted with an old rival at the weigh-in. Got to get Francesco Pianetta out of the way, then I'll come for Wilder. A rival which, considering he wins, offered him an end-of-year matchup that would slingshot his name right back where he wanted. We've been bigging this up many years now, and now it's here. And when two fighters want to fight, the fight will happen. Fury's up there dancing now before the action restarts. Doing what he needed to do, Fury breezed to a lopsided points win. And in expected fashion, the two let the world know it was on. It's on, baby. You're the best fighting the best. I got me rounds here tonight, 10 rounds. But one thing I promise when I go to Las Vegas is I'm knocking you the f out, boy. With negotiations between promoters causing dismay amongst heavyweight boxing fans, Fury's plummeting straight in at the deep end to take on the most dangerous man in the sport was a huge breath of fresh air. I've had Deontay Wilder pieces like a pit bull because he said I couldn't and the world thinks he can beat me. December, I'm going to knock Deontay Wilder. Smart out! But then, shedding tin stone to shouting from the rooftops exactly like before the Klitschko matchup, Fury never doubted himself for one second. Turning up in LA with an unwavering confidence, looking to get the mental edge on Wilder at every opportunity. I'm ready too. Well, let's go then. We got let's pull the fight forward to this weekend. You, even after all the time off, you cannot beat me. I hear all this knockout talk. I hear it loud and clear, but I just don't believe it. As the Staples Center lit up and all the talk had become a reality, once again, just like the first time he shocked the world, Fury's tremendous boxing skills and footwork neutralized his opponent. Looking to be cruising his way to yet another of his trademark points victories, the 12th round laid testament to the whole journey so far. Knocked down with a combination that would render most fighters unconscious, those 10 seconds where Tyson Fury rises to his feet to the crowd's disbelief to not only end the fight, but to put Wilder on the back foot is what truly puts the icing on the cake as one of the greatest comebacks of all time. And whilst the controversial result puts a dampener on what could have been the ultimate fairy tale ending, the Gypsy King's bravery left a solemn message. With a newfound sense of perspective, one which materializes itself as a determination to tell anybody and everybody that his existence no longer revolves solely around boxing. And that 
going into 2019, Tyson Fury grips tightly on his second chance at life and eyes a second chance at the WBC belt that he has always believed is rightfully his. An iconic comeback, in it, you know what I mean? A two and a half year out the ring, ten stone balloons. I just showed the world tonight, everyone suffering with mental health, that you can come back and it can be done.